Hi everybody, this is Brad. So on Monday, June 24th, the MS4 committee held its highly anticipated town hall meeting to discuss the MS4 program. The meeting was held at the George Wolf Elementary School and we had about 50 to 60 people that turned out. So that was pretty good turnout for us here in the borough. Meeting runtime ran about an hour and a half. So we had a lot of good questions and engagement from the public. So we thank you for those who were in attendance on Monday. Unfortunately, since the gymnasium was used there at George Wolf Elementary School, the acoustics in the building were pretty bad for the recording device that I had. So the recording that's online right now isn't of the best quality, but you can yeah, hear the meeting if you so uh, choose to maybe use headphones or earbuds, you might be able to hear a little bit better. So Monday's meeting was informational in nature. We wanted to let the public know where the MS4 committee what they've learned over the last several months and we wanted to share that information with the public okay so in this video we're going to discuss the summary of the monday meeting and where we go from here so let's get started so this video will cover five different subjects monoxy creek watershed a pollution reduction plan project costs and ongoing maintenance ms4 oversight and funding and what the next steps will be. Okay, we know the bath is in a Monoxy Creek watershed, and this is a high quality class A trout stream. It's a waterway of the Commonwealth. Bath is an urbanized area in accordance with the US Census Bureau, and all bath storm sewer facilities discharge directly into the Monoxy Creek. Because of this, Bath is a mandated national pollution discharge and elimination system permit holder. In accordance with this permit, Bath has to establish a Pollution Reduction Plan, or PRP. These are all regulations imposed by the EPA and PADEP. Bath's PRP has been approved by the PADEP, and it requires the borough to perform significant capital improvements to two stormwater basins and a rain garden at George Wolf Elementary School. The work would range between $500 and almost $1 million. After completing the work, Bath's PRP uses guidelines established by the DEP, suggesting a 10% reduction of pollution once these new systems are in place. This work is required to be completed before the end of the current five-year permit cycle or before December 31st, 2027. But the work doesn't stop there. There are project costs and ongoing maintenance. Because of this current permitting cycle and the included capital projects, plus Bath's ongoing operational maintenance of the storm sewer systems, there needs to be a funding mechanism in place to keep up with these requirements. MS4 is a year-over-year -year borough function with permitting cycles every five years. All indications are that each permit cycle may become increasingly challenging with greater storm water protections. So this is not going away anytime soon. And while there may be some grant opportunities to offset program costs, the borough is not solely relying on grant funding. There needs to be a permanent funding structure in place to keep up with MS4 regulatory compliance. Bath's MS4 committee has learned that funding all these MS4 requirements is likely to occur through a stormwater utility fee. During the meeting, Bath presented a few options, one being a tiered fee structure based on the square footage of impervious coverage of a property and built quarterly. The utility fee and impervious coverage data are still in draft form and require more work. The MS4 committee reviewed generating revenue from the property tax. Pulling tax money to cover these projects and program goals is unsustainable. If the current projects under the Bath's PRP cost around $800,000, Bath would need to jump up property taxes by around 77%. Plus, all tax exempt parcels, some of the highest contributors to stormwater runoff, they wouldn't pay anything. Also, tax revenues assess property value, or the size of homes, whereas a stormwater fee is directly tied to the surface area where stormwater runoff occurs. The utility fee is something non-exempt, and it's a fair and uniform approach. The oversight of the borough's MS4 program and establishing a stormwater utility fee is likely to be under the direct management of a local stormwater authority. The Stormwater Authority would use existing borough infrastructure to manage and operate the borough's MS4 system, all with various agreements with the borough. Okay, so what are the next steps? Coming out of the June 24th meeting, the MS4 committee has a special meeting set up for Monday, July 1st at Borough Hall beginning at 5 p.m. The committee will be making its recommendations to borough council. The council will then consider the recommendations of the committee and is likely to act during their July 8th meeting. 
Should the Borough Council act on the committee's recommendations, the committee will begin the process of forming a stormwater authority. At the same time, Bath will continue working on detailing the stormwater utility fee structure. These program goals could be completed no later than December 24th or earlier. Should all of this occur as anticipated, stormwater utility fees would be billed out to Bath property owners during the first or second quarter of 2025. This is something Bath has been openly discussing in the public domain since 2023. So just to sum up, the town hall meeting was just to let borough residents know what we're actually up against. To let everybody know this is not a borough initiative of any sort, that there are certain unfunded mandates that we're required to manage. And of course, we need to find a reasonable funding solution. So as we've learned, it's not recommended to generate this fee through the borough's general fund. There is no current state law that would allow the borough to actually do that. And there is a current court challenge that is circulating through uh, Pennsylvania system and any program that the borough does put into place uh, should when this occur there'll be an appeals process and a credit program as well. Please visit the borough's website you'll find more information on the MS4 committee webpage and of course if anyone has any questions or would like to discuss this further here at the borough you can certainly contact me and I'd be happy to sit down with you and discuss further. Hope this video has been helpful to you we'll see you next time have a great day Beth PA take care.